Embrace, write this down, embrace conflict, honestly. You want to be a good communicator? Embrace conflict. You should almost roll out of bed every morning, and after you give thanks to whoever you give thanks to for waking you up, you should say, bring on the conflict. Because if you communicate, you're going to have some conflict. Right? Now, not all conflict is bad. How many think conflict is bad? Actually, conflict is a good thing. Can someone tell me why? It allows you to grow. It allows you to grow, absolutely. Through conflict, you get a chance to, you know, it's a sin. Martin Luther King said the measure of a man, ironically, his breakthrough was Monday. The measure of a man, I'm going to say the measure of a man or woman, is not where he or she stands in a moment of convenience, but where he or she stands in a moment of controversy and adversity. Because when the sun is shining bright, everything's good. When you're on the same page, it's when you have differences. It's when things start to go wrong. How do you handle those situations? How do you communicate that? Some of us, we go to work every day, and how many of you have managers and supervisors here? Okay, some managers and supervisors here, and you go to work and you have a conflict because you want to be friends with the people that you manage. I see it across the country every day. Through powerful workshops, seminars, and keynote speeches, Sean promotes, inspires, and empowers thousands of individuals each year to take action and reach their full potential. All right, and we're going to talk about how to deal with the situations in an assertive manner. What does it mean to be assertive, my friends? Take the lead, take charge. What else? Being assertive. What are the opposite ends of being assertive? If I'm not assertive, I'm one of two things. What are they? Love it. I'm overly passive or I'm what? Overly aggressive. Absolutely. Assertive is in the middle of passive and aggressive. Now let's talk a little bit about that. Passive people, you want the definition of a passive person? A passive communicator? You allow the needs and wants of others to dictate your life. Now let's talk about overly aggressive behavior. Overly aggressive communicators, they steamroll their way through life. They treat it like it's a dog eat dog world. Do this or else. If I'm your boss, I need you to get this task done or you'll be out there at Good Burger saying, Welcome to Good Burger, home of Good Burger. Can I take your order, please? Can those types of people get to the finish lines, my friends? Can they? Yes. Honestly, you can stay and roll your way and get there. Yes, don't be fooled. Over aggressive people usually do cross the finish line because they're drivers. They're going, 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 going. So the difference between the two is to be assertive. You should be a combination of aggressive and passive. And you should know when and where. They're the direct communicators. All right, show me how it works. How do you communicate directly? Uh, we have Chang's today for dinner. No, we're going to Champs. No, we always go to Champs. Every time we're down here, we go there. That's the best reason to be there. Well, then you go. Hey, I guess we'll go Love it! <laughs> the indirect communicators. So, what do you want to do for lunch today? I don't really care. At this point, I'm just starving. Do you want to go to, like, Champs or something? I mean, if that's the only place, I'll go. <laughs> Good job! Get it right. Some people are situational. An ideal communicator is situational. However, most of us, although we say we're situational, most of us sway one way or the other a majority of the time. I want you to be able to communicate in an effective manner going in and out of these different styles. You'd be amazed what a smile can do, what a kind word can do. Be cordial with people. You see, self-defeating talk, words are important. We have self-defeating talk. We have words like, there's nothing we can do. They won't allow that. I can't. I must. I only. No, oh, that's self-defeating. What's some more examples of self-defeating talk? How do you like self-defeating talk? By show of hands. I don't like it. How can you change that to something uplifting? What can you say? I'm defeated. I will see what we can do. What else? Let's try this. Who said? Let's try this. Let's look at the choices. Good job. <laughs> I'll try. Do me a favor. I want everyone to do this. Write this down. I like it. I like it. Write the word try. Okay? Then draw a circle around it. Anyone remember the uh, movie Ghostbusters? Draw a big line. We're going to bust it. 
as long as you're trying to do something you never do. I love this one over here. I will. Take the word if. Write it down at the bottom of your workbook. I am. Draw a big circle around. <laughs> what are you going to do now? <laughs> Put a line through. Let's do another. You have some more space down there? <laughs> Write the word but. Draw a big circle around. But, B U T. <laughs> no double T. <laughs> I want you to cross that butt out. We use butt all the time. Seriously. Get rid of the butt. What if I walked up to you and said, I don't want to offend you, but. <laughs> Shut up. You know where you're going. You're getting ready to offend me. speaker, trainer, coach, author, and entrepreneur. Through powerful speeches and workshops each year, he inspires thousands of youths and adults throughout the country. 